Hi there, Simon from Simon Woods and Dr. Com here. Uh, today it's Sauvignon Blanc, uh, but from Burgundy. Um, so we're on Saint Brie, uh, 2014 uh, Sauvignon from Clotilde d'Aven. Um, and yes, it used to be called Sauvignon de Saint Brie, and about ooh, seven or eight years ago they just uh, changed it. It said, right, okay, we're just going to call it Saint Brie. We don't put the great variety on for Chablis, so why should we need to put it on for Saint Brie? So it's just Saint Brie. Um, two years old now, uh, we're in uh, end of November, no, middle of November, uh, 20, 2016, so let's see what it's like at, at that stage in its development. Weird thing about Saint Brie um, is it smells of, uh, it's made of Sauvignon, but it smells of Burgundy. Um, it, what I mean by that is there's this creamy, uh, I don't know if it's lees ageing that gives it this, this particular character, it's the soil that gives it a certain Chablis-esque uh, character, a little bit of flintiness in there. Nothing to do with that little bit of cork that's uh, floating about. Come on out, you little git. There you go. Um, but it smells like it's going to have um, the, some of the zestiness of Sauvignon, Sauvignon but the uh, fatter, creamier texture, uh, but maybe fine boned acidity of Chablis. Let's have a see. It's an intriguing one, that, because you get this zesty side and you get this creamy side. And you do get a, a bracing side in Chablis. But uh, because the um, uh, Chardonnay is a grape, isn't maybe quite as pungent in its um, uh, in its floral, aromatic, herby character as, as Sauvignon is. Uh, you don't notice it as much. But here, the two things sit side by side. I'm not sure whether they um, meld as well as uh, as some uh, Saint Brise do. It's a good wine, uh, but it's a bit. It's one of those that you, you can feel bits of your brain sort of going. Hmm, am I expecting Chardonnay? Am I expecting Sauvignon? Um, what I'm left with is this creaminess of the that, that creamy texture. Um, uh, that's ever so slightly nutty uh, beeswax and um, and oatmeal, but um, but with the, with this fresh bracing herby side as well. And it's, the two are just still having a little jostle rather than uh, making truly beautiful music. It's a, it's a decent enough wine, but uh, maybe could be even more harmonious. See you soon.